Peter Shanks, London National Portrait Gallery, on a very auspicious occasion. We're here outside the National Portrait Gallery. Inside, 80 of London's top journalists. We're about to reveal a portrait of Her Majesty the Queen. The portrait will hang on board the new Queen Elizabeth in the Grand Lobby. It's a fantastic event for us and a truly wonderful portrait of Her Majesty. Let's go and see what happens. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, on the 11th of October in Southampton, Her Majesty the Queen will be present to name our new liner, the Queen Elizabeth. But of course, the one thing that Cunard Line has above any other travel company is our tradition and our very special and proud links to the royal family. Her Majesty the Queen, as a 12-year-old, was present at the naming of the Queen Elizabeth in 1937. She also was present and named the QE2 in 1967. And it's quite remarkable to think that in 2010, she'll be with us again to name her new ship the Queen Elizabeth. But that wasn't enough for us. We um, took a deep breath and asked permission whether Her Majesty would sit for a portrait for her ship, Queen Elizabeth. And we were really pleased when she agreed to do so. So then we set about finding a beautiful, young and creative artist. Cunard Line often talk about being very proud, proud of our history. Well, I think today is a wonderfully proud moment for Isabel because her mum and dad are here as well. And of course, it will be in the grand lobby of the Queen Elizabeth for some 25 to 30 years. And many, many hundreds of thousands of people will look at that painting and recognize that Queen Elizabeth is Her Majesty's ship. So, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our artist, Isabel Peachy. It was a very special privilege to be asked by Cunard to paint a portrait of Her Majesty the Queen for their newest liner. And I'd like to wish Cunard and the cruise liner, Queen Elizabeth, the very best for the years to come. So now, it is a great pleasure that I will unveil the portrait. The best bit. The beginning is where you can actually be free, you can um, move the paint around the canvas and, and just get a sense of the pose. I felt a little bit sad to let the painting go and then I also felt a little bit nervous today coming here to see the painting again because, uh, because it's, it's, you know, the painting is all your hard work, all the good days, all the bad days and, and now I can see it one more time before it goes to the ship. So Isabel, that was wonderful. How, how did you feel when you pulled the uh, cloth and everyone burst into a big round of applause? How did you feel? <laughs> I, I felt relieved but very happy. It was, uh, it was nice to finally show people the painting and, um, and, and to see people's responses, to find out how people felt about the painting. So when we see you again, we'll be on Queen Elizabeth, on the Queen Elizabeth. in the presence of Her Majesty the Queen, and we'll find out how she likes it. Yes, we will. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much. So that's how it went this evening, um, just truly wonderful. I never thought I would be here in the National Portrait Gallery with such a wonderful young artist in front of a beautiful picture. And it bodes so well for all the excitement when we get to see Queen Elizabeth in just a few weeks' time. That's all from the blog, London National Portrait Gallery, signing off. <laughs>